<clears throat> what's going on guys um, hey so to all you guys who did subscribe to my channel I, I think that's awesome it's really rad like who, who really wants to watch me but you guys do so I appreciate that um, so this video it's not gonna be a very long one it's about spreader boots so when I bought my boat uh, my spreader boots were pretty worn generally they're a tailor-made such as this and they uh, they go around the outside of the spreader and then you have your main stays going through here this happens to be the one that was left on the boat. The other one had fallen off, but basically all they do is they go around and then they're taped or zip tied, and uh, yeah, they wear out pretty pretty fast. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I did not wind up using a rubber uh, replacement. I bought off Amazon the Waterline uh, leather spreader boots, uh, and there was a lot of people on the forums telling me I needed large. So I, I did not think I needed large after reading over the reviews. I went with small and medium, and then when I was up top, I actually wound up using the smalls. So if you're going to buy them for a Catalina, uh, mine happens to be a Catalina 30, tall rig, I don't think that matters between a standard or a tall. I have aluminum spreaders, and the, um, the small water lines off of Amazon are the ones that I used, and they worked out really, really well. Um, you're also going to, just when you watch the video, you see how tiresome that actually was. Another thing I wanted to bring up was um, to all you newbies, such as myself, I'm not an expert in any any way, shape, or form, um, I noticed before I went up that my halyard was bending like this. This is the exact spot, actually. Um, I wound up going above this spot and tying a figure eight to my harness. But yesterday, I went to the boat, and again, you can see it. Now, this is what it should do, right? And this is what it was doing. So I took up my hot knife, I happen to have and I cut the line and look at that the core comes right out the core was completely gone off this so before you're gonna go up your mast man check your lines I really mean that just go over your lines take out as much slack as you can from one end and just really feel them see if they're worn this one was definitely worn um, it held the sail fine but when I saw that I was definitely nervous and again I mean the core is popped and um, could have been bad so check your stuff before you go up hope you enjoy the video i'm trying to get better it's just it's the end of the season and these little projects are coming up and don't worry we got plenty of stuff coming at you so thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon
Well, Jesus, that was, uh, that was exhausting. Getting up there to those spreader boots. Gonna say thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Katie. We see. Thanks. There he is. Oh my goodness. That was my first time going up. Now I might be a skydiver, but I am terrified of heights. I know I'm utterly soaking wet. But that was fun. Spreader boots and a Catalina 30. Tall rig. Friends on a boat are a lot of fun. Follow me, like and subscribe, let's do it. Just like and subscribe, it's a lot of fun. Fun is fun.